A major breakthrough today on trade negotiations. The White House announced it has reached an agreement with Mexico and is calling on Canada to sign on to the trade deal. KXAN's Anna Warnicke takes a closer look. It's a big day for trade, big day for our country. President Donald Trump says he's nixing NAFTA and replacing it with a new trade deal between the U.S. and Mexico. They used to call it NAFTA. We're going to call it the United States. Mexico trade agreement. The president made the announcement in the Oval Office with Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto joining by speakerphone. Good morning. Thank you, Enrique, and congratulations. The two leaders praised each other for reaching a deal and said it's now up to Canada to sign on. I'll be uh, calling the prime minister very soon and we'll start negotiation. And if they'd like to negotiate fairly, we'll. Uh, We'll do that. The U.S., Mexico, and Canada set out to renegotiate NAFTA last year, but after three-way talks with Mexico and Canada fell apart in June, President Trump said the only way to reach a NAFTA deal is to divide and conquer. Missouri Republican Senator Roy Blunt called Monday's announcement a huge victory for America's farmers. Not only for farmers, but for farmers, for people who run the Kansas City Southern Railroad, for people who make cars and make airplanes. But Ohio Republican Senator Rob Portman says there's still a long road ahead. Right now, the trade deal doesn't include Canada. Canada's our biggest trading partner. Mexico is number two. So my hope is we'll actually see some light at the end of the tunnel here. President Trump seemed confident a trade deal with Canada will happen, whether or not that deal includes Mexico. We could have a separate deal or we could put it into this deal. The Canadian foreign minister is expected to arrive in Washington later Monday or Tuesday morning. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.